very good evening uh, ladies and gentlemen need my privilege to extend a warm welcome to each one of you the invitees uh, and also all the viewers watching this program live from different part of the country different part of the world and i know there are a couple of viewers watch this program regularly from us they send me sms in the late night and uh, give a genuine comment now coming to today's topic that of making better defensible decision the gentleman actually i must tell you you are all blessed today to listen to him those who are watching and those who have missed the other losers i can tell you he is one of the finest speaker finest human being i come across because i met him a couple of days back since the time i met him i eagerly looking forward to listen to him because he is the man very young man looking with bubbling with so much of knowledge and energy is come from all the way from us we're going to talk to us at the end of the day i am quite sure he'll become more wiser more knowledgeable to know on this decision making process and much more than this ladies and gentlemen put your hand together to welcome dr professor errol the pressing dr errol and she can take your place on the dais Good evening ladies and gentlemen it's a great honor and privilege to welcome here to MMA uh, professor Errol Veera Singh all the way from San Jose in the US and he's going to talk to us on the art of making better defensible decisions he has authored a book on this subject called better defensible decisions let me begin first of all by thanking him to be with us uh, in spite of his busy schedule and uh, as group captain already mentioned at 76 he is able to travel the world and uh, take so many lessons and be a mentor to so many people and so many industries it's really a credit to his passion for the subject uh, mma was established in 1956 is the largest management association in the country and has been awarded the best management association in india by the all india management association for 10 years in a row the last 10 years in a row and a number of viewers are watching this program live on the webcast and also in youtube and facebook Once again let me welcome him and uh, we are all eagerly look forward to hearing him today thank you All right good evening thank you that's a loud welcome thank you very much yes i've been here in chennai for about 12 days now and i can assure you i feel very much at home so why did i say defensible decisions because any decision you make you have to defend at least to your spouse if not for corporates right in addition to which i'm going to talk to you about something called decision validation and decision zone mapping the stuff that we're going to talk are quite revolutionary so please pay attention because in the interest of time i cannot stop i would love to if they allow love me to but i think you guys have a control on time so how many of you would give your car to a mechanic who is not trained anybody with the hands up probably not anyone will go to a dentist who is not trained almost certainly right but the question is why not the reason is he'll screw up your mouth and your car both and then would you also say a trained person might do better awesome in that case what about untrained decision makers are they not likely to fall flat on their face one of these days irritation sure anyone can make a decision and live with the consequences ladies and gentlemen but it would be very difficult to defend such a decision in a corporate setting that is why our thrust is all about analytical decision making and making better defensible decisions because you must incorporate analytics to reinforce your common sense i hope you're convinced thank you very much i'll take some questions sir good evening sir good evening but the question is how do you arrive at weightage or the ranking that is the big dish at point so i am back to zero where i begin dish i promise you you're not back to zero i can answer that question in absolute confidence to your satisfaction there is no problem i don't know if it might take too long uh, is there a validity for the decision suppose for example you are launching or something and do we have to revisit this decision machine after one year or two years or whatever what is the validity of this decision making that's one a model a decision they had made for a client and said can we simulate it in cloud and see if our decision was right i said if you are a married man 25 years 
can you go back and simulate your experience when you were dating yeah. now you know your wife right all the criteria are going to be biased based on what you already know so if you know later on what happened you can't because we are catching your feelings your feelings are the hell you think about your wife either good or bad you can't go and rerun it this is about going forwards you can't come back and play with your feelings to get the answer you people do. So that's, that's my answer. Continue. Big round of applause, please. <clears throat> Thank you, Professor L. The lucid way in which you talked about is that even a person who thinks they know decision making quite simple, it makes now the guys will think twice before he takes a decision, actually. That's also good. And I think big round of applause for him to sparing his time to come and speak to us. We are indeed obliged. Uh, may I request you to please present a memento on behalf of him.